Horns up, good morning and welcome to the Demon Stealers Indian Metal Podcast, Episode 6. I've got a surprise for you. Wait for it. So that kick-ass intro was done by Yuvraj Bhatnagar and if you guys are in a band or if you just need any cool VFX or intros like that made, please get in touch with him. His uh, details are in the description box below. He's a very talented young guy and definitely hit him up if you need some work done. In the news today. So the third sovereign Blood and Roots tour started off in Shillong on a good note but unfortunately it's been downhill from there on. Their Guwahati show got rained out in the middle of Plague Throat set and Gutslit and Third Sovereign did not get to play. Also their Chennai gig has been washed out due to the floods and because of that and also due to low ticket sales, the Cochin, Hyderabad and Bangalore leg were all cancelled. So that is pretty depressing news and it's really sad given the amount of hard work they've put in to make this tour happen. It was a massive effort and it's really sad that this happened. I do want to talk about the low ticket sales though, I mean that's pretty depressing to be really honest. Metalheads, you guys got to step up your game and start coming out and buying your tickets in advance. Everywhere in the world, gigs work on ticket sales and not on sponsorship. So guys, it's time for us to get our act together. Self-proclaimed nasty grindco fuckers Grosty have announced that their vocalist Bad Influence has quit the band. They posted this update saying, Bad influence, our main vocalist quits. Henceforth, Grosty goes as a four-piece, but do support his kick-ass power violins band Abolish Mornings and grind band X Repeat X. What can I say? Good luck guys and good luck to Bad Influence as well. Mumbai's older than old school band Primitive have revealed the artwork for their upcoming album Immortal and Wild. They have also released a single on Soundcloud. To check out everything and to pre-order the album, head on to tometal.com where it's all available. Death Go Band from Bhopal, Elemental who are on tour with Third Sovereign and Plague Throat have released a new track called Inhuman Perch. This is a song that is going to be featured on an album that they have planned. This song was actually mastered in the same studio where the death metal band Aborted gets their stuff done at. So check it out. You can click on the video here and watch it. I mean, listen to it. Death metal band Strangulate from Kolkata is all set for their debut release on the 19th of December called Catacombs of Decay. They have also released a single called Barbaric Decadence which you can listen to by clicking on this little box here. A band from Chennai called Before the Holocaust released their debut EP called Silence on the 12th of December. Visit their Facebook page and check out the music, links in the description below. If you like crusty punk or grindcore and hardcore, then this band called Bone F V C K U R Bone Fucker. I think they mean to say Bone Fucker have released a three-song demo on their Bandcamp page. Again, links in the description. Check out their stuff. And lastly, this band called Havoc from Imphal have released a single called The Second Coming on their SoundCloud page. Check that out as well. Welcome to the weekly video updates. So three young musicians from Shillong, Cornelius, Gerald and Mason have started a web series called the Shillong Rock and Metal Scene and their first episode features Plague Throat. It's a nice long interview shot against the beautiful backdrop of Shillong and I think this is going to be a regular series and this is really cool so do check out the series and you know leave your feedback. Mumbai thrash metal band Devoid who are sort of on a break now because their drummer has moved to Dubai on work are on the new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. This is basically a reel of bloopers and bonus questions that didn't make it to the episode when it actually came out last year. Check it out for some really hilarious stuff. Believe it or not Jaipur has a female fronted gothic metal band called Drowning Melancholy and they've put out a music video for their song called Defenseless. Sounds interesting? Check it out. And the band Minimalist from Silcher have released a guitar and bass playthrough for their song called Outcast. Check it out. So that's all the videos for today. We'll have more videos next time. Welcome to the Geek Guide. So Bhayanak Moth, Artillery and October are playing tomorrow on the 15th of December at Antisocial which is at Housecast Village in New Delhi. Entry is 300 bucks. Don't miss this game. Also in Mumbai on the 20th of this month, there is the Third Sovereign Blood and Roots tour which is going to have Plague Throat, Third Sovereign, Gut Slit and Elemental. Mumbai, I am warning you, do not miss this gig because 
if this gig goes off well hard rock cafe is going to start having metal gigs regularly i have it on insider information so it's really important that we attend this gig and the entry is 500 bucks and it's all cover if you don't understand what that means it means for 500 rupees you can drink eat or do whatever you want inside hard rock cafe and the entry is technically free so please come to the venue have a beer inside or eat some of their food is pretty good and i'll see you guys on the 20th at hard rock cafe in worli also after the anonymous fest that took place yesterday in pune there is a brand new festival happening and it is massive the festival is called reverse scenario and it features gutslit dark helm halaku undying inc as headliners and more bands this is going to be pretty kick ass pune you're having a good time with gigs make sure you guys attend it's important very important so last week I started this section called Ask Demon Stealer where you can leave me a question in the comments below and I'll answer it on this podcast. So we have our first question here today and it's from Naveen Ajay Kumar. He asks, what is your take on the use of plugins or AMP profile sims for production? Sahil, I know technology is very versatile but with the fast approaching new era of metal which might have already begun won't raw production be killed. Many faithful old school people are still using amp heads caps like yourself and live drums and all but production is too tight now very precise there are no more tiny musical errors for the human ears to enjoy is that good or bad first of all that's a really interesting question and uh, to be honest no i think it's not a bad thing at the end of the day you it's about how you use the technology it's what the producer decides to do what the artist decides to do you know uh, just because you have an amp sim or a plugin doesn't mean you're going to quantize your guitar or drums to death Obviously, certain music like gent music or deathcore, the aesthetic is such that it needs to be locked on and crisp and near perfect. Whereas, you know, something like old school metal, it, it's about the vibe, it's about the swing in the music, it's about the groove of the drummer. At the end of the day, I think to each his own, you know, some people like music to be raw with a couple of human errors and there are plenty of bands that are doing that. I can give you a band a month that has a guitar out of tune and a drummer out of time if you want to hear some stuff that's not perfectly in sync. But basically, it's about the artist, the producer and as a fan, I guess you look for the bands that are, you know, sort of using the production aesthetic that you like and I guess that will also depend on the genre of music you like you know you're not going to find old school bands quantizing everything you know right to the the absolute grid and making it sound like a robot then it's going to sound like shit you know and you're not going to see a gent band uh, not editing stuff and making it sound loose because then that sounds like crap in that style of music so that's my view on this and i'll leave this to you guys as well the audience why don't you share your perspective with us in the comments below okay and as always before i end this podcast i've got some music to recommend this week it's Theorize from Bangalore. They released this album called Psychosphere in 2014. Uh, it's nice raw thrash metal. Check it out if you haven't. I'm not even sure if the band is active but it's pretty cool. Give it a listen. And of course I've got a CD to give away. First of all last week's winner of the 1833 AD CD is Akash Datta. Hey buddy congratulations and I'll send you your CD soon. And this week I'm going to be giving away this album called Intellectual Pursuit by Shrapnel. This is a band from back in the day in Bangalore. It's kind of heavy metal melodic stuff. So if you want to win this, make sure you share this podcast and tag me or my page and that's all you have to do. And also, uh, Indian metal bands, if you would like your CD to be given away through the podcast, send me a message, send me your CDs, I'll be more than happy to give it away to fans. And yeah, that's about it for the contest today. And so this podcast has come to an end. I really, really hope you enjoyed the podcast. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. Share it, not just because you want to win a CD, but because you want to spread Indian metal. And I also want to say last time's podcast had some crappy error on it. So Facebook is still refusing to let me share it. But please spread the word. Do watch the last episode in case you missed it. And, you know, till next time, keep listening to Indian Metal. Finally, some death metal and not death core from Kolkata. This band called Strangulate is set to release their debut album on the 19th of December. Death core band Elemental from Bhopal who have been touring with Third Sovereign and Plague Throat have... Re- re- In other news, the gross... In other news, death 
in other in other news death in other news grind in other news nasty grind co fuckers grosty grosty done 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 done